What's going on, Rebel Nation? It's about that time. The Ole Miss volleyball season right around the corner. So that's why we're catching up with the head coach of the Rebels, Caleb Banworth. Coach, there's no book on taking over a program, and there's certainly no book on taking one over during a global pandemic. Uh, what's, what's the one thing you learned from year one that you're able to carry along here into your second year? Yeah, I, uh, I definitely wish there would have been a manual waiting for me when I got here, but there wasn't. Um, probably could write one at this point. Um, yeah, one of the biggest takeaways was, um, you know, we we obviously don't have that much time to train. We haven't had that much time to really, like, have a training block. Um, so we got to figure out how to train our gym culture from the start, right? So we've been talking about discipline. We've been talking about urgency. We've been talking about the controllables. Um, so right away from day one, we like we're nailing down our gym culture first. And then we're talking about our system stuff. So like we didn't even get to any like live six on six play until I think like day four um, it was. And the girls were probably so annoyed with me. They're like, coach, we just want to play. We just want to play. And I was like, well, we'll get there. But once we once we get our big rocks done like once we nail down these these controllables these these standards for our gym then we can start playing well you've got a lot of new faces players who have played in other programs and have that kind of experience so you have half of a group that kind of started to get the building blocks last year and another half that has tons of volleyball experience does that make that mesh help you guys put those building blocks into place for sure for sure we have you know nine new faces um two grad transfers and a transfer from Florida. Um, and so those three, the grad transfers and Riley who transferred from Florida were key in, you know, setting the standard. They've played at a high level. They've been in big time programs and they know what it looks like and what it feels like. Um, so all these new faces, kind of some fresh blood and, and some, some fresh clay for me to mold um, definitely made a difference this year. Speaking of the new faces, what has it done for competition, bringing in players who, as you said, Florida, you know, Maryland, uh, some pretty primo volleyball programs, you've gotten some talent to come to Oxford. Yeah, it's been, the, the competition in the gym has been pretty insane. I mean, it's intense every day. Um, every time we compete in a drill, it's, you know, they're working hard. Um, we have, you know, 19, 19 athletes that are fighting for, seven spots so the competition gets pretty gnarly and, and all of them are super driven to be on the court so it gets pretty intense in practice it's cool to watch last year it was an all sec schedule and of course the league produced to the national champion so we know how tough of a conference it is this year you get some non-conference tournaments they're still challenging opponents but what will some of these opening weekend tournaments do as you guys build towards conference play yeah, you're right. You know, we're, I am really excited to get some non-conference. Um, I think if we would have been able to play some non-conference leading into conference, then maybe would have had a little bit more success, but who, who really knows? Um, but yeah, we, we have some really great tournaments scheduled um, teams that win their conference or contend for their conference titles. Um, really good RPI teams like Troy, Coastal Carolina, Western Kentucky obviously was a sweet 16 team last year. So to play those, those good teams are going to help us get better and, and really prepare us for a tough SEC schedule. And then the, the goal for us always is NCAA tournament. Um, so playing those tough teams, playing the teams that could, could boost our RPI um, are going to be huge for us. You talk about goals. What are expectations? Where, how do you reach those goals as you're what a week out from the uh, opening tournament of the, of the year? Yeah, a week from today, a week from today. Um, you know, we have we have pretty lofty goals and um, we all want to do really well this year. Um, but it's we're focusing on one day at a time. We're focusing on one drill at a time and working as hard as we can on one thing and then moving on to the next thing. You know, we're, we have our goals in mind, but we're not we're not super focused on them. We don't forget about them like they're there but we're focused on working hard every day. And, and then hopefully, you know, by us trusting the process, then we can get to those goals. As she said, one week away, Troy UAB in the opening weekend. Coach, we're excited to have you back at home at the start of September, but until then, good luck. And we'll catch you back in Oxford. Awesome. Thank you.